Okay, Tabor team, in this video, I'm going to introduce the eight ways of lean. These were, uh, this book here, Two Second Lean, is the best lean book I've ever read, and a lot of the principles we're trying to do come from that book. So, in lean manufacturing, there are eight ways, and we're going to try and remember those by using Tim Woods. Those are the initials of all the eight wastes. So that should help get us off the ground. This is gonna be new for most or not all of us. So that's a good way to start. So the first one, first waste in lean is transportation. So that's the T in Tim Woods. Anytime we see materials or equipment or inventory moved around excessively, that's transportation. We want to recognize that and see if there's anything we can do to improve that. These doors here were moved from the front of the building back to the back so we could put a uh, hinge on them. So that was like 20 seconds to the back and then 20 seconds back up front. The question you would ask is, can I move a cart back there and do 10 at a time? And Gordo finally did that. I was happy to see it. Number two is inventory, that's the I in Tim Woods. I'm gonna show a couple of videos here where we have a lot of inventory out line side, which means we, in this first one here, this is, we weren't doing any boxes, so all this stuff's out by the line and no boxes. So what that means is we're probably ordering more material to put into the receiving cage which means we've doubled up our cost out and we don't need eight rolls of toilet paper. Motion is number three, that's the M in Tim Woods. And what you'll see a lot here, one of the biggest motions is walking. You'll see a lot of walking going on here, moving from one spot to another. The question you would ask is, can I move the material closer to where it needs to be? So that uh, walking is a big motion waste. And again, not trying to embarrass anybody, just want everybody to start recognizing these things. The next one is waiting. That's the W in Tim Woods. You can see a lot of waiting going on here too. That usually means that we're out of sync in our operations. So you'll see an operator waiting on parts from the guy before him. Here we're waiting on a part to come through the bander. Probably can be done with one person. Here we're waiting on the Como sheet to be run. Sheets are usually 8 to 12 minutes, so that's a good opportunity to do some housekeeping or to break up your scrap pieces. The point is, you want to recognize that waiting is one of the eight wastes in lean. Can we do anything to improve it? Here we have a couple of operators from assembly waiting on parts from the dowel station. That's another example of waiting. And then we go to overproduction, which is the mother load of all of them. This one, when we overproduce things, we have inventory and possibly rework and possibly um, a lot of motion moving it around. So overproduction is the big one. In this case, we've overproduced, we've produced faster than the downline operations, and now we have inventory that's in process. And what's happening here is it's getting dusty and dirty, and it could get moved around and beat up in the corners, so that would be rework defects. And then we're starting to turn it into a shelf unit, which we don't want to do. So we really don't want to start what we can't finish. Here are some dowel parts ahead of assembly, which means we're out pacing what the assembly needs. We gotta get on the same pace, and that's what we're working on. That's overproduction. And then one more example, bunch of drawers built out ahead. If we can't put those in a box, we don't wanna start them. Overprocessing is number six. That's the second O in Tim Woods. Anytime we see somebody doing more work than we think they should have to, you just want to question it. Recognize it, question it, and see if there's anything we can do to improve. And this first one might not be anything we could do, but I was noticing he was filing the area where the 
toe kick will go. In this one, you're going to see that we're sweeping up dust, putting it into a dust pan, and then putting it into the trash can. We want to bypass the dust pan, go right into the trash can. That takes a step out. That's a wasted step. And then in this one, we are working really hard to get some of the materials in and out of the doors. One thing we talked about was putting the material onto a cart and then roll the cart in. We haven't tried it yet, but I recognize this over-processing when I started here, so that's just another one of the eight ways, over-processing. Try and make our life easier. Just every, we want everybody to start recognizing the waste and try and make our lives easier. So that's over-processing. Then you go to defects, that's number seven. That's the D in Tim Woods. Defects usually lead to some sort of rework, which is a, it's wasted time and wasted money out, right? We're doing stuff twice when we rework. So this one, we had to rework these doors. We had to trim them down, so two guys doing double the work. So that's a waste. This one, these were, these were some returns that I saw outside, so we're gonna end up, if they're still fixable, we're gonna end up reworking those, so those are defects. The eighth waste is the skill of our people, the capacity that you guys have to improve everything we're doing here. So once we start recognizing these wastes and work to reduce them to the point of elimination, we'll get better all around. So. Don't waste your potential, come forward with ideas and we'll keep moving on.